In tech news, it's kind of fun to see driver to driver. What pans out? Is it worth downloading? Is one of the questions that a lot of people have. And well, applications in between those applications, what does your game use? DirectX 11, DirectX 12, maybe some, you know, tensor cores or some ray tracing awesomeness. These are the questions a lot of people ask when you're like playing around with your video card. So, with GPU tech news coming into play, now we're at the game ready driver of 442.59. And this is the patch notes you're going to get. My name is Mac, here at the iOS 7 channel, and we're going to go ahead and dive right into the gaming news. With seeing one of the bigger portions of what the Call of Duty patch notes coming into play, and I have a whole separate segment on that that I'll link down below in the closing portions that I will be my personal pick for you to watch after this because they had a really big update themselves and you might be curious but the game ready driver that we're seeing besides the introduction of the platform going into it and us seeing some scores because I wanted to talk about that being the interlude of the portion of the Warzone introduction and crossplay so now as long as you have the platform introduction of who you're trying to reach, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, their gamer tag, that is all you really need. Looking at Fire Strike, DirectX 11, straight off the bat, it is not something that looks decent. It's a reduction, but it is Fire Strike, so I don't really give it too much thought. This is not overclock, this is just defaults in order to show update to update what the consistency of what they're offering. Oh, how I can tune it. This is like their reduction, but again, I mean, I've had leaps and bounds with retesting these again the medians, but the medians were right around that. So, looking now at the more evolutionary point of the extreme test of this, you see the same trend as where we have the first situation down to the second situation. So, newer update, older update, you are starting to see some pullbacks on the DirectX 11, but if they're getting stability and getting tuned for this game because it's probably a lot of overhead, um, then gaming performance over, I guess, crashes is what they're probably aiming for, hopefully. But this is the preferred, like, I guess the bizarre thing for me in the, the tech world is all of a sudden in 4K, it, it extraordinarily excels. So I, I guess they are having some headroom you know with that situation as you come into update to update now having like the new and that being the old so there are some benefits i guess if you're gaming in 4k yes this is an update for you if you're gaming in 1080p stick to the other one 442.50 is perfect um unless you notice some like um crashes then update then that's probably more than likely the overhead room that they were planning for but let's go ahead and dive into the patch notes before we get into the time spy and the port royale test that we'll get into the very end which were really interesting too as usual your boy mag has you down below you have the links written article of what nvidia drops for their patch notes that i'm always to dig up so if you want to see everything down below what they have connected you definitely can but now getting past that situation and us diving into what the highlights are of this remember i started with call of duty and now we're here um we're gonna have a situation where we can jump a little bit farther past that with the grd 442.59 edition of the drivers from nvidia looking at the nba 2k you're gonna see some game crashes that were be able to be flagged and hopefully picked up off that court and working for you the note bark VR, the blue screen crashes that occurred when connecting to the VR headsets to the head notebook was not happening. Looking at the Windows 7 implements, you were at a installer verified portion of your Microsoft in the SHA2 support. The patch installed in the user system, if the patch are not installed, then the driver's installations will not continue. As the flowchart would be disrupted at that point in time. Looking at the preventative and the prevent point of the issue is to install the driver after. Hopefully it should take the situation a little bit more easier. I've had that situation a little bit with some video cards that's shifting over. Sometimes you have to do a clean install and I'm going to be doing videos installments later on for both of my communities for AMD and NVIDIA that watch this. How to properly do a nice clean install for either or any GPU rather in the situation just for um the advice because it, it, it's hard sometimes but sometimes that clean install helps but moving on past that down the list 
you can definitely see that there's a lot of Windows 7 and Windows 10 um, making the list because there's like a lot of funky Windows updates lately. I got to 1909 and I, I kind of regret it. <laughs> But moving on past my installation of Technolation, hoping that there will be a better Windows update next week. Looking at the situation of Windows 10, making the list as far as Call of Duties, Warcraft, and looking at also the Warzone, you're looking at, what is it, Motorsport 7, hitting the curbs and all these situations that are basically within their like boundaries, within their hopefully spectrums but they're not hitting their marks so that's why they're polishing these up you can also even see tom clancy making the list for some vulcan g synchronization uh for as far as the flickering that would occur during those situations and you know a workaround with that is just like utilizing the disabilization of g sync or playing an api other than the vulcan uh, so it's like it's a newer technology they're coming but a lot of these are hopefully something situations that are still open so, you know, like, they're aiming at fixing them, but, like, I totally understand the community out there. It's like, damn it! You know, it's like, I was hoping. But these are all games that seem like they have an extraordinarily good polished look with fast FPS, which means they're just aiming for true and native looks of games. Almost like Final Fantasy, where you can get a remake and it looks so much better, you know, but, like, the FPS and, like, the technology is thought to be coming up. You know, it's like, had a really good title so you know i don't like it's episodic but i still like it's here it's kind of cool but now that we got the snooze out of the way let's go ahead and get down to the situation of what we can get to the very fun benchmarks time spy port royale is there any well fighting chance that they're better in this update let's find out and you start noticing well there's a trend here because here's like more of our old school which was pretty cool 442.50 is pretty chill. And then you get this. Yeah, it's kind of like, well, 1080p fans, you're like, what the crunk? It's not a good tune I want to hit my tracks with. So, yeah, let's go ahead and look at what's going down with the, uh, you know, extreme version. And this is when you snap the algorithm of what they did. They focused on 4K. They didn't focus on 1080p. They took reductions back because more than likely the FPS push of what a lot of people would be doing this graphically intense game would already be there, versus where 4K kind of benefits off of this because a little of the architecture that you're is accelerating, because when you look at last week's, which is this, versus this week's, you see consistency between DirectX 12 and DirectX 11 favoring 4K over 1080p. So it's kind of cool. If you're 4K gaming, this is an update for you. If you're 1080p gaming, well, you know the advice I gave in the very beginning of this episode. Rinse, repeat, see what happens. And leave a comment down below. I'd really like to hear what the community has to say. Now the moment is, well, is your tensor cores getting what they need in this update? And the question that you have to hear is the answer that you want. Yeah, there's some pretty good improvements. So. Far and far, I'd like to think that like for a standard update going over, it's pretty decent. I think that they're aiming for performance control, you know, in that situation for as far as what people want to see in a AAA title. I mean, this is a situation where, you know, you can count on like certain games to deliver really good, it's like Kingdom Hearts, you know, a reason why I have had Final Fantasy pulled up in the background was the reason that, you know, it's kind of like more of an interlude point and just like kind of giving people the, I guess, glimpse that there are certain titles that really do push the boundaries of technology other, over other ones because they understand the architecture of what the gaming companies are doing in order to accelerate this. So the gaming companies and producers which you use, they have to figure out what they're doing in order to correspond a an ecosystem that everything coexists in. So it's like, that's why updates are kind of fun and interesting to me. And I'm glad that you've had a fun time in this situation. Thank you so much for sticking tuned for this tech news. And I know I forgot my Tech Tuesdays this week, but I will be pushing forward next week with a nice little introduction of Tech Talk Tuesdays. So stay tuned for that, techies and techettes. Because there's a lot of cool stuff that's going on in the industry right now. For as far as fun stuff like Baby Threadripper Intel? What the? I know, right? Like, people were like, 16 cores? Like, I heard about it today. And there's also so much more fun stuff with, like, the new you know, 2080 going to the new evolution and like some real specs finally hitting the market for as far as the 30 series coming into it and Ampere just like shocking like the build of what 
I feel like AMD is gonna, gonna finally have like a nice like a little crowning achievement over the 2080 Ti, but it's not gonna be too far from like when Ampere is going to just boop. It's gonna be great. I I'm gonna get one. That's for sure. And if Nvidia wants to send me one, that'd be cool. I'll, I'll, I'll do a patch review and an unboxing for you. Yeah. Anyways, everyone, have a very fun day, and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Oh, uh, I forgot my uh, closing humor thing. Um, and if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, I'll get a really cool fedora that has a feather that's longer than the one in Peter Pan's. That'd be really cool, because I have a fedora, but I don't have a feather like that, so that means I had to get one. But anyways, everyone, that's a feather dad to your cap, and I'll see you guys and gals next time. Have a nice one.